all been fantastic in their own ways. So I rewatched them all again over the last couple of weeks. And I was trying to pick up stuff that maybe you've never been asked before or haven't been asked a million times already. Because if I ask the same thing that's already been answered a million times, it's just kind of, you know, it's kind of defeating the purpose of this, right? So I went through all your interviews all the way from the late 90s with Vince McMahon all the way up till recently. And just to get a feel for how you feel for each performer, I wanted to do a little bit of term association just at the sure. beginning, just to see exactly who we're dealing with here. And uh, I got to go with number one, Bret Hart. Uh, not what you think. Uh, I was shocked when I first met him that, uh, he was, he was very quiet. Um, almost, uh, not almost he's introverted, right? He seemed he, like he leaned to the shy side. Uh, and he's, he's a guy who, when, uh, when he grabs a microphone, uh, in the wrestling setting, he totally changes. He becomes someone totally different, which is really cool if you think about it. I mean, yeah. it's just not his natural way to, you know, to be, um, I, I mean, nobody talks in real life the way they talk, you know, cutting a wrestling promo, obviously. I mean, that would be kind of like horrible for someone to walk around and say, I'll see you for lunch tomorrow. I mean, that Close would be Austin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I, uh, um, I just thought Brett was uh, a very interesting, a very complicated uh, and a very thoughtful guy. I don't mean that he gave me gifts thoughtful. I mean, he thinks about things before he says them. Absolutely. And, you know, Brett's obviously one guy that I feel like down the road, I have to meet because I, you know, if you're a Canadian and you are a pro wrestling fan or even a sports fan, I think you should at least try to go meet Brett Hart because he represents everything that our country's about in the best of ways. So with Brett too, I wanted to ask in relation with him, but the Montreal screw job, I don't want to go through the entire thing because it's already gone, been gone through a million times, but I want to know from your opinion as a Canadian, what were your thoughts when that incident happened in Montreal where Vince screwed Brett for the WWE title and he can justify it in any way he wants, Brett was screwed. And I want to know as your as a fan and as Canadian, what was your take on, on that instance at Survivor Series when Vince rang the bell and sent Brett to WCW empty handed? Well, I mean, selfishly, from our standpoint, it really put us on the map, right? Because that was going down. Uh, TSN and wrestling were synonymous with each other. Uh, on, uh, on Tuesdays, was it Tuesdays we would come out of Raw? I think it was, yeah, it was Tuesdays. Uh, and our ratings would be enormous if we had a wrestler on the show. So the fact that Brett said, you know, I want to come on and tell my story. I mean, that's great to start with. And then um, Vince heard him telling his story and said, I want to tell my story. I mean, this is like the dream. You know, yeah. when people come to you and say, I want to use you as a platform, that's amazing when they're, uh, you know, famous and interesting and people that draw attention. So that was my first thing. This is gold. The second thing was that, yeah, he got screwed for sure. But there's always been a part of me that says, you know, it's it, it that's kind of the nature of what you do, yeah. meaning that that um, stuff happens. It's not like it's not like you had the Super Bowl taken away from you, which you you know, which you won, not based on anyone's script or decision to let you win it. Mm -hmm. um, so I, 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 I do think he got screwed for sure. But in the world of wrestling, uh, given all of what we could talk about, how it, it does have uh, um, a scripted feel to it. Right. I mean, Vince decides who's going to be champion. And the only thing that uh, that he screwed him on was the fact that he didn't tell him yeah. that he <laughs> He was going to take the belt away. So, yeah, I thought it was a shitty thing for Vince to do. But I also I, I think that it's not the worst thing a human being could do who owned a wrestling promotion. Yeah. Oh, oh, definitely. I mean, a lot of promoters have done a lot worse than that. And two, I can and Vince see has done a lot worse than that. <laughs> yes. I can see it from both perspectives with Vince not trusting Eric and wanting to really um, protect the WWF belt, which was the most prestigious belt at that time and still is. But at the same time, you can understand it from Brett's perspective, who had 30 days of reasonable creative control and his issues with Sean, you know, which 